If we want to build a measurement system for specialty coffee, we must begin with the basic question, what is specialty coffee? In 2021, the SCA published a white paper which defines specialty coffee clearly and holistically. Specialty coffee is a coffee or coffee experience that is recognized for its distinctive attributes, resulting in a higher value in the marketplace. Let's explore that definition and how it works. There are two very important concepts in this definition, the importance of attributes and value. Let's begin with attributes. We can think of attributes as all the properties that make a coffee what it is, and furthermore, what makes a special coffee special. A coffee's flavor profile and cupping score are attributes of a particular coffee, for example, as are its physical experience and grade. Roast color and size are attributes of a coffee, but so are the name of the farm it was grown on or the country it came from. It might even carry a certification. These attributes aren't all alike, but they all contribute to our conception of what a coffee is and what makes it special. We might think of all these attributes as a sort of a halo of properties that define and give meaning to a coffee. These attributes, taken in total, form the basis for a coffee's quality. In this way, attributes can be conceived on a continuum. Coffees with few distinctive attributes on one end of the spectrum and with many distinctive attributes on the other. Simply by documenting the number of attributes of a coffee, one can locate a given coffee or even a coffee experience along this continuum, using attributes to distinguish coffees from one another. And as a coffee accumulates positive attributes, it can move along the continuum towards specialty. But because it's a continuum, it can be segmented in more than one way. The lines aren't always sharp between these segments, and this can accurately show the complex, diverse nature of the global coffee marketplace. This is not binary thinking. It's a much more sophisticated and nuanced way to think about quality. So what are some of the advantages of an attribute-based definition of coffee? One is that these attributes can be measured. One example of this is sensory attributes, which can be measured by a taster. Other kinds of attributes can be measured using other techniques, but the principle is the same. Once attributes are identified, they can be documented. But even better, the value of attributes can also be measured, which is extremely important to the individuals and businesses that make up the specialty coffee community. This ability allows us to measure how coffee is valued by the end consumer or priced in the business to business marketplace. But getting to value requires another step, which we'll explore in the next video.